Hello and welcome to whilstlocksappears.com and this time round on the C64A to Z we have N now, N, Nobby the Advark. It's by Thalmus, it's 1993 and I've chosen this game purely because it's done by the same people that have done Creatures and Mayhem in Monsterland and one big reason, it is Commodore 64 only. This game was only made for the Commodore 64 so this is quite a, a big thing, you know. Back in the day, games like Chase HQ were what I brought out for everything. Um, even ATV Simulator was probably Spectrum as well, you know, but this is purely only Commodore 64. Now, I love Thalmus games. Creatures, Creatures 2, Winter Camp, all fantastic. So hopefully, I'll enjoy this. Now, this guy looks like the guy from the uh, Pink Panther cartoons. Um, I'm not sure if it's purely coincidental. <laughs> Or if it's actually meant. Um, anyway, so he has to go to Antopia. This is a basic platform game. I say basic, sorry. That was a slip of the tongue. This is a platform game that I'm going to screw up. Um, okay, first time that I've ever played this game. Oh, it's 992, actually, he says. Oh, damn. Oh, well, 992. <laughs> no, it's 993 again. What? Make up your mind! Right, okay, so here we go. So you're in charge of Nobby the Advark. You have to. Oh, there's, there's a there's a Thalamus Fun Club. Well, I wonder if it's still there. No, it's probably not. It's probably been bought over by EA, just like everything else. Sigh. So, Thalamus closed down in 1993, the same year that they released Nobby the Advark. In fact, this was their final game. Um, pretty much lack of funds, uh, and IDOS actually bought most of their rights to games. I. I really did enjoy Creatures, that for me was one of the best titles for the Commodore 64. So level 1, we're in America 1951, oh dear. I'm blatantly we are, because we've... Uh, okay, hang on a second. The, the blue stuff might not be good. <laughs> oh god. This game reminds me a, a lot like um, Yogi Bear, where You've got insanely fast moving platforms. I remember that about about Yogi Bear as well, that was insane. Right, okay. Ant Ant's Nest. Okay. Oh excellent, I actually have a clue. Yay! So down and fire. Oh, does that mean that I've used up all the ants? Okay, so when the ant hill turns from brown to black, you know it's doomed. Okay. You got a bit. Did I start with about eight lives? And so far, I'm just walking into water, and that's. I've lost about three already. Oh, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> right, jump, jump. Okay. More ants. Oh my god! Right. Okay, birds kill you. Is it what on earth is that? Oh, it's a half hurricane, half bear that shoots stuff directly at you. Obviously, shoot him. <laughs> that is close up. I can't miss you. See. Uh, Oh my god, everything! Now people will say it's just because I'm crap, and there's probably a huge sense of that, but when there's enemies, this, this reminds me of like New Zealand Story is, is a bit like this as well. Where you just have things popping up from it. Okay, run, run. Run straight into it. Um, so this, I'm, I'm showing off the best that this level has to offer, just leg it. <laughs> Oh god! Oh please! I've got one life left. That wasn't bad. Okay. Um. Shockingly, I've managed to scrape onto the high scoreboard. I don't know how I did that. Okay, let's have one more go. Surely I can at least do better than that, where I lost five lives within the first half a minute. That was bad. Uh <laughs> of course, yes. Watch out for the random geysers. I don't know. Okay. One life lost. I, I think this time, last time, I lost about four, so that's fair enough. Okay. No, no. Wait until that buggers off. Okay, jump! Now, I'm guessing this, this isn't a straight right to left thing. I think I might have to go up because there's a lot of. Mm, okay. Graphically wise though, it's a half it's a half decent game. I ran past these last time. Oh that was a sheer fluke last time though. Oh yes, that, okay, fair enough. Um Graphically it's um obviously f it's fantastic. Oh, I can't believe I hit that. Can't 
Ooh, what's this? Ear then. No, seriously, Neil. That's water. Water's bad. Industrial lubricant. Oh my god. If I keep doing that, somebody shoot me. Right. Here we go. So I've, I, I've picked up... I See? I'm thinking shooting these ants is only one way. Unless it's very hard to actually hit anything. That's... Oh, oh god. <laughs> Neil, move, man. It's like playing uh, Midnight Resistance, where it's like, oh, there's a guy... <laughs> there's a guy with a massive rocket launcher. Oh, he's going to aim at you, Neil. Move, move. Neil, move. No, I'm dead. Um, it's pretty... It's a bit clunky. Like, jumping's not, you know, fluent. These airplanes piss me off. Okay, okay, here we go. Right, okay, climb, climb, climb every mountain. Kind of. Okay. I've only got one life left, actually. Shoot everything now! Shoot him. Okay, up, up, up. Oh my god! Oh, see, how am I to hit this guy? <sighs> there's no diagonal shooting, or there's no up. Well, at least I didn't try up, did I? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Right, that must be the end of the level. Up there. Okay, shoot these boys. I don't know what they are. Walking cookie turds. I'm, I'm not sure. Right. Oh, I, got, <laughs> I knew it. As soon as it's not straightforward. Well, okay. Um, that's not be the advark. Um, I didn't give it justice, probably. Oh, it's a new high score! Ooh! And I'll put turd underneath jobby, because that's really... It wasn't fantastic. Alright, next time. Oh, yeah.